cyclopropane, can't read it, when cyclopropane is heated to 500 C, it changes to propene. So E and E at the end there. The following data uh, were obtained for one experiment. So you got time in minutes, 0, 5, 10, 15, then the cyclopropane concentration, cyclopropane is the reactant, in molarity 1.5, 1.24, 1, and 0.83, all to the minus 3. Confirm that this reaction is first order, and we want to know the rate constant. So, uh, what you do here is zoom out. Get your own red up. Now, once you got that taken care of, what we're doing is going from cyclopropane to cyclopropene. Well, for rate constant purposes, it doesn't really matter what the product is. Uh, we're focused on the reactant. That's why there's reactant data given. Uh, but uh, if you're interested in what these look like, for those. So, uh, what you would do, or what I would do is, okay, if you want to confirm its first order, You've got a plot, oh yeah. Oh, does it say propene? Oh, thanks. Propene, propene. That's this, it looks very similar. Thanks. Uh, so yeah, it's going to propene. Uh, which is still three carbons, got a double bond. Okay, so if you want to determine if it's first order, what you need to do is plot, uh, plot it such that you plot the natural log of the reactants versus time. If you plot the natural log versus time and you get a line, it's first order. So, um, let's do that. So what I would do is make a third uh, column in this a uh, little table here, and the third column would be uh, the natural log of cyclopropane. Okay? So the natural log of all four of these numbers, if you did that, you get minus 6.50, minus 6.69, minus 6.91 and minus 7.09. So I'm taking the natural log of all four of those numbers right there. Making kind of a third column in my table. And now I will plot the natural log of the uh, cyclo Propene or pain versus time. If that gives me a line with a negative slope, then it's first order. Uh, natural log, I'll just go triangle because it looks like a triangle, versus time. And it will. It'll look like this. And you can plot that out on graph paper at home if you'd like to. Uh, and you can see it'll give you uh, a line. So because it does, and because it has a negative slope, that's first order. That's a characteristic of first order that the natural log versus time, the semi-log plot, is linear. And so if I find the slope, that's going to equal minus k. So if I can find the slope, I can answer the second part of the question, which is what's the rate constant? So to do that, I just need two points. I'd always encourage you to pick two points which are most, the furthest apart from each other. That will give you the best data. So slope which is going to equal minus k. It, so I'm going to take the time 0 and the time 15. <coughs> time 0 and time 15. 
So I'll go to the bottom, 15 minus 0, change in x. And on the top, change in y. Well, uh, 15 goes with 7.09, negative, minus a negative 6.50 to go with the 0 minutes. That turns out to be negative 0 0.0393. And that'd be uh, per minute. That's the slope. That's not k. That's minus k. So k is a positive number. k would equal 0 0.0393 per minute. And there's my rate constant. Any questions on this? So you have to plot it to show its first order. Uh, if you wanted to plot it to show a zero order, you would plot uh, just the concentration of the reactants versus time. And that should have a line that goes negative to the least uh, from right to left, or from left to right. I will unlikely edit this out. <laughs>